Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Chris Bed from Chris Bed Photography. Today, I'll be teaching you the best way to sharpen your image and export for web in Photoshop. Without wasting much of your time, let's get started. We'll have a beautiful image here of this model and I am done editing this picture. So, uh, the next thing I would want to do, let's duplicate our layer first, because I love doing that. Now we're going to resize this image. Looking at this image, needs to be resized because it's, it's 300. If you go down here, it's 300 PPI, and I would want to save it for web, probably my website or any other place you won't want to you know upload your your image so first and foremost we'll go to image we'll go down towards image size we'll find out that this image is what 300 pixels so we'll want to go to 72 pixel then we'll take a look at the long edge the long edge if it's for Instagram 1350 Instagram allows for 1350 for the long edge by 1080 we now click OK so our picture has been what resized to so before after and now we can now desaturate this image why do we desaturate before sharpening our image so that the color this color of the skin or the skin tone will not be affected by the high pass we are going to apply on our image get that all right let's go so we'll go to image adjustment desaturate so we're removing the color completely and running our high pass and filter other high pass now our high pass is too much so we'll try and reduce it for me you use a radius that won't be too much on it so for now let's go up a bit uh, so come here you see how it's literally uh, sharpening well it's if you can see from here now it's sharpening the edges you can see our edges are being sharpened and we click ok now to get our picture uh, our, our photo back we're gonna do a blind mode of soft light we apply a blend mode of soft light then reduce our opacity. Opacity is your good friend. Reduce your opacity for after. You can see the sharpness of the picture after. So we have a good width. Uh, okay with that. Then the next thing we're gonna do is to export our image. We go to file, export export for web so we see our pictures here already sharpened optimized embed color profile convert to srgb should be checked and our res what we resized it at 1350 appears here so next thing we're gonna do we do click save and look for a place where we'll save it we'll save it on our desktop we can name it headshot and you save so we're going to our desktop and we'll look for here it's called headshot 
uh, pictures uh, photo have uh, been saved properly so you can see how it is that will be all for now don't forget to subscribe to my channel like my videos and also turn on the notification bell so that you can be notified whenever I post a new video.